What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and today we're going to take a look at iOS 4.3 for the iPad. First up, let's take a look at 4.3's most talked about feature, home sharing. This feature now allows your iOS device to wirelessly access and play back your iTunes library from your computer. No syncing or downloading required, it happens entirely over Wi-Fi. This only works if all devices are on the same Wi-Fi network and you will need to enable home sharing in iTunes. Firstly, you will need to update to the latest version of iTunes, 10.2 or newer. This works on both Mac or PC. Next, in iTunes, go to Advanced, turn on Home Sharing, and enter in your Apple ID. This is what your iOS device will use to log into your iTunes library. Next, on your iPad, go to Settings, select iPad, iPod, rather, and enter your Apple ID again under Home Sharing. Now go back to your iPad, launch the iPod app, and in the upper left corner, select Library. You should now see all the iTunes libraries on your network, including your iPads. The iTunes library from the computer will load. You may need to give it a few moments to load the content for the first time. You can now browse your music and videos as if they were synced on your iPad. You can browse by song, artists, album, genres, etc. You can also search each category. In this case, I'm searching for Coldplay under Artist. Playback is also just like the synced content on your iPad. You can even skip to the next track or scrub the track. Movie playback works the same, but you may need to allow for some networking buffering when loading or scrubbing content. Of course, this also works with AirPlay. Next up, Safari has been updated with the new Nitro JavaScript engine, which more than doubles JavaScript performance from iOS 4.2. To test this out, I'm running the Sun Spider JavaScript benchmark on two iPads running 4.2 and 4.3. I'll post a link in the description below if you want to test out the benchmark for yourself. Running the test reveals that indeed it takes the 4.2 iPad twice as long as the 4.3 iPad to complete the benchmark. In this case, the 4.3 iPad took a little over 3,200 milliseconds versus the 8,500 milliseconds for the 4.2 iPad. In the end, this means that web pages will render more quickly. AirPlay has also been enhanced. It can now recognize and playback content to any Apple TV found on the Wi-Fi network without the need to configure those devices. Also, video playback within third-party apps and Safari has finally been enabled. AirPlay can also playback video from your photo gallery, as well as play slideshows complete with transitions. And in other details, you can now delete apps before they finish downloading by tapping and holding the app until it wiggles, and then selecting delete. The Notes app has also been updated with a new font. The font Noteworthy essentially replaces Chalkboard. And finally, you can now configure the physical switch to act as a mute switch or screen lock. Just go to settings and select your preference. So that's it for me, guys. That's iOS 4.3 for the iPad. Thanks for watching.